Hi, this is Teresa from Acerette Studio. Just wanted to do a quick run through of my new listing on Etsy. I call this 12 by 7 soft cover. Uh, her name is Bella. And as you can see, she's chock full of vintage goodiness, lots of ruffles, some eyelets, a piece of old quilt, lace, a little tuck spot up here where you can maybe put a charm or something as well. Um, I love the saying on this one. The wings kind of goes with the butterfly uh, embroidery. So here we go with the side. So she looks like on the side. There's three signatures. And we have the back side. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this out. This is the tie enclosure. And if you are not writing, you can certainly wrap that around and it's long enough to create a nice size bow or you could wrap it around and tuck the tails into this little pocket. All right, here we go. All right, this is the first page. I'm trying to get this just right. The first page, tag made by me with plenty of room on the back side to journal and a library card. The inside is lined with muslin that I've hand stamped. It's a simplicity old fabric um, pattern pack with a cutout so you can use it as a tuck spot. You've got another pocket here with old cards with vintage graph paper, some more places to write and journal. Old pages from a historic houses uh, coloring book. Tuck spot. Gardening pages that you can certainly write on or draw on. Another tuck spot with uh, journaling space. More writing space, writing space. Fun workbook pages for you or your child to do. It'd be kind of cute if you had your child do these pages and that'd be a good memory to have. Lots of room for journaling and tucking things. Uh, this is from a Teach Me Handwriting book. This letter is hilarious. More pages. This is a um, piece of floral, something from a floral magazine and it is um, another pocket. Lots of room to journal. And on the other side of that, you have um, a coin envelope, an envelope that uh, is old magazine, and you can certainly jazz that up with your own creativeness. More pages. This opens up to uh, lined paper. Handwriting pages. More tucks. You can practice these text types on this sheet if you'd like. More workbook pages, vintage lined paper, lined paper, scrapbook paper that I've added, um, tea dyed paper with a stamped saying, and this is antique French lace. Uh, this page is all about potpourri, another place to write, more historic poems to color or just admire. Fabric flip, second journal, or second signature, has a little charm that says love on it and in the second signature you'll have a lot more tuck spots this is made out of an old count and cross stitch page that I've kind of doctored up and that's tucked in here plenty of room to tuck things in more pages lots of room to journal on a um, quilt template page Fabric pockets with little tucks, little tag, and the back side has been hand stamped. Planning spots, ledger paper, map with a secret, secret tuck spot, another one of those pages with floral image and pocket inside, another place that you could write. This has been gessoed so you can draw or paint on this or simply glue down ephemera. Other side of that pocket, map. Hand stamped envelope, more places to write. A couple little goodies in here.
as you can see, you can definitely journal quite a bit in this journal. A couple tags. Quilted pocket, one of, I think, three in this. We're on to the last signature. Another quilted pocket. Music paper. More um, paper that you can create lists on and such. Graph paper. Tuck spots made out of old typewriting textbooks. And these are just really beautiful. They fold out. On the other side is um, obviously an old calendar, but you could fill those in with all kinds of notes and things. And it's double-sided. And this is another tuck spot. And we've got an envelope that you can tuck things in and it folds, flaps over. More writing space, more writing space. Just an abundance of journaling space. Here's another, uh, at the end of this signature, you have a little tea bag that I've added some cute little tidbits to and that can just be something decorative. And then we're on the last page. The last page also uh, kind of mimics the inside front cover with a pocket hand stamped and then inside is a tag that you can definitely journal on the back uh, punch a hole put ribbon and do whatever you'd like it's a little gift from me to you all right so that's our little walk through all the details are on my Etsy channel so I'm going to go ahead and just do another kind of quick scan of what she looks like. Remember her name's Bella. She's 12 by 7. All the other details about what's included uh, in her will be on my Etsy listing. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.